Pavel Baturin. In this video, I will show you the strangest forest ever. Welcome to the new episode and welcome to the weirdest place I ever been to. This place, this forest looks like that was an epicenter of nuclear explosion. Today I was thinking to talk about shooting without tripod. I was planning to go to some lake here and trying to shoot different compositions. I prepared some notes about shooting without tripod. When I came here I realized that this place is extremely different, absolutely different from anything I was expecting. And yes, there is a lake over here, but the regular lake comparing to this forest just means nothing. Because this place is something from another world. It's something from post-nuclear movies or something like that. And actually, I, I have no idea how to shoot this forest because it's just so weird and so unusual that I, I'm just speechless. I came here at stupid AM, but it's overcasting today, so I have no sunrise. And according to my plan, I will shoot this place with no tripod. And, and I will try not to break my leg. Because take a look at this surface. When you shoot on a tripod, you are so stable so you can use long exposure. When you shoot with no tripod, that means you have to make your shutter speed at least 250 of a second. For example, in my camera I have no IBIS. The only thing I got is a stabilized lens. So, 250 of a second, okay, but for sure it's not enough. So, I have to open my aperture, but in this case I will get shallow depth of field. So, what can I do? I can rotate my uh, ISO dial, right? This is my only option. In conditions like that, in this overcast weather, uh, my camera says that I need at least ISO 2000. And this is bullshit for me, because I know that this camera uh, on ISO 2000 just is too noisy, even for this brand new artificial intelligent noise reduction options in Photoshop and Lightroom. I'm afraid that this ISO is too much for my camera. This is crazy. The thing I really don't want to participate in is the rain in a place like this. I hope the rain will not start at least 30 minutes more.
despite the fact this place is so unusual and so interesting, I was completely unprepared to situations like this. I have no idea how to shoot this place. I took a couple of shots uh, from my drone and it works nicely, but in other case, I'm a bad photographer. Just imagine, I found the place which is incredible and, and I cannot find any shot except the obvious ones. And I'm covered by water from all the sides. trying to get some compositions I get closer to those uh, rounded curved trees here I have some ideas now I'm pretty close to the village here maybe 50 meters from the houses and I believe the locals are not very happy having me filming and taking pictures over here but today is Saturday and it's almost 7 a.m. and I believe majority of them are just sleeping now. And maybe I'm looking weird but I'm just trying to get lower to emphasize the curvature of those trees. Well, using no tripod in this situation was the right decision. With the tripod, I'll not be able to uh, change my angle so fast and so often. And it seems like this forest is artificial because all those trees grow by rows, very straight ones. I will show you. Take a look. This place is just cool. It's very hard, it's very wet, but it's cool. And take a look how wet this is and how wet I am. And finally, I'm in the bank of the lake. So, it's time to use telephoto lens and take portraits of some birds. And a 
And yes, with no sun, it's definitely not the luck of the brace. But still, it's a pretty lake. And probably in different weather, in different conditions, it will look amazing. Probably in summer, not in November. <laughs>